Hey guys, it's Allie and I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how I'm using RadLab to get those Christmas tree photos so bright. Uh, I use RadLab in conjunction with Photoshop and I'll show you that process right now. Uh, I'm still using Aperture as my photo management program, but depending on um, what you're using, you just need to get your photos into Photoshop. So here's the original photo um, of Simon. It's nice and warm. Uh, it's very bright. And in the past, I've used lots of um, photos that have that warm tone like that. And this time I just decided to try something different. And so here you can see um, once you load RadLab into Photoshop, so this is a separate purchase, it has a little icon like this, or there's other ways that you can access it, but I would just click on open RadLab. Up it pops, and this is where you can see how it has a variety of different filters. They're kind of filters and they're kind of just adjustments that you can make to the photo. You can cool it down. You can do all kinds of like optical flares, but the one that I've been using is right here and it's called bullet tooth. And it has, it definitely made the photo a lot less orange, first of all, and it has a brighter quality to it. Um, you can do it more than one time and you can see how that went from uh, the original image, which was really orange, to one level of that to if you did another level. And you can come over here um, and make adjustments on those two to adjust the strength of it. You know, if you don't want it so bright, uh, let's see, we wanna have at least one bullet tooth on there. Um, and then you can also come back and do lights on, which is one I use a lot as well. I'm wondering if I did in the actual photo, I didn't do that much. Um, it's probably more like that. And so in the video tutorial or my step-by-step -step for, um, uh, day nine, I, I talk a little bit about this, but I don't show any of the process of this, but this is basically what I did uh, to get the photo to look that way. And then you just click finish, RadLab applies what they call a recipe onto your photo, and then you can go ahead and crop it or print it or do whatever you wanna do. So I, you know, I, I really can't recommend this program highly enough. It saves a lot of time of having to come up with your own adjustments. Um, it's simple, quick, easy, and I use it on tons of my photos, usually just using that lightning one. But for the holiday season, this has been a fun uh, bullet tooth. This one specific adjustment has been um, a fun one to add to my album. Hope you guys have a great day.